this uh, half hour. Tonight, to help me chew the political fat, are the new statesmen, Caroline Crampton and Siraj Datu from BuzzFeed. Welcome to both of you. Uh, thank you both for coming in. Let's start with this uh, jobs news and how that's playing out politically. Caroline, how do you see this? Well, the, the figures themselves are uncontroversial. You know, uh, David Cameron claims two million extra jobs. Um, great numbers for him. It's about the quality of the jobs that the arguments have emerged, about whether these jobs are full-time work that's helping people improve their living standards or whether it's a lot of self-employed work, zero-hours contracts, as Ed Miliband argues. And that's something that the two leaders are ideologically opposed on. They're never going to agree, and it's just about whether peop uh, voters go more for one idea or the other. Mm, and at this point, we can't tell, clearly. No, we can't. I think one of the really interesting things is that <clears throat> David Cameron's been saying for some time that, you know, his messaging has been every day of the coalition we've created 1,000 jobs, but the polls haven't shifted at all. And now today, you know, when the announcement came out, Priti Patel emailed the Conservative Party mailing list and said, we've hit, we've hit 2 million jobs, you've created 2 million jobs since 2010. But we've not seen that shift in the polls, and I'm not sure whether that's really the key thing that's going to change people's mm. minds. Because the Prime Minister was talking about it as a jobs miracle today, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure that miracle is quite the word. I know the BBC's Robert Baston was observing earlier that we're, in terms of unemployment figures, we're almost back where we were before the 2008 financial crisis. So a miracle, a repetition, not quite yes, sure. Yes, miracle does suggest something sort of biblical, which mm. perhaps this, this doesn't, doesn't necessarily apply. Um, earnings and wages, though, are important in this context, aren't they? Well, this is, yeah, I think this is the other key thing, that Labour are claiming that average earnings have dropped £1,600 since 2010. So while there's been... An increase in jobs. People are getting um, into jobs, but and unemployment is at its lowest level since 2008, which is great. But uh, if people, you know, the, the whole for Labour, what they've been saying is that cost of living has gone up and wages haven't been. And that's something that, you know, the coalition really got, or what the Conservatives are going to have to address in the next few weeks. Mm. Although we are now in a situation, of course, where with inflation as low as it is, then that feeling will start to change. But it's a question of what impact that then has. Absolutely. And as Siraj was just saying, the trend in the polls so far, the fact that they're still so close with so little time left, suggests that that's not quite happening. Mm. Uh, and of course, um, uh, there was a boost for George Osborne today from abroad, and uh, I think he was more than happy with what Christine Lagarde had to say about the state of the UK economy. Well, no, of course, yeah, this I, the IMF came out saying that um, the UK is on trajectory to be far better than, um, not only that, what, that, than what was expected, but than other countries too. Um, and that's the message, again, that they can take out to voters, we're trusted, we are the people who've been in government for the last five years. And, um, again, this is one of the things that Conservatives have been saying in the manifesto and the weekend before that. We, we're not going to tell you how we're going to fund these promises, £8 billion pounds for healthcare, for example, but we've done it before. Trust us and we'll do it again. Mm. Uh, and just a final word on this. I mean, you mentioned, uh, Caroline, where, where Labour were coming from here and they were talking about the quality of the jobs and how much people were being paid and of course zero hours contracts mm. surfaced in debate today. Didn't they? they did indeed. Ian Duncan Smith uh, suggesting that it's more of a branding issue than a, a jobs issue, that they should be rebranded as flexible working, uh, that it's all about choice for the employee rather than an enforced uh, matter of in instability in your job. Labour jumped onto that very quickly as well. They created a six second loop.